In this vlog is going to be a bit different than usual. Um, I always get requests about how I edit my images and my workflow. So I thought I'd take you through um, the stage of processing. Um, right, in one of the vlogs I did a couple of weeks ago, I was at Hin Kravnant. And towards the end of the video, um, where I took a shot on the lake, um, I didn't put that image into the vlog because I completely forgot to do it. By the time I've edited it, rendered it, uploaded it and all that, it was too late. I just didn't want to go through again. So I'm going to take them images that I didn't put in the vlog and then, uh, yeah, we're going to work on that image now, basically. Uh, the image was <coughs> very dark. Um, the uh, sun had gone, so it was very moody. Uh, I had to bracket the shots because it's dark, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you through this workflow now and uh, see how I do it. So here you can see, here I've got the, uh, as your normal exposure, the one under and the one over. So um, I'm just going to open Photomatics to start with. Um, and we're going to do a sort of bring these images together. So I'm just going to open them up when I find them. There you go. And I'm going to align them and merge them to HDR. Um, so what that'll do now is uh, merge these as a HDR image and then uh, you'll get different presets coming up on the uh, side panel to whichever you prefer. I usually go for the normal one because I I don't want the uh, image to look like one of them dirty HDR images if you know what I mean. I just like it smooth so uh, we'll see what it gives, gives me from the uh, selection. Okay, so uh, this is what it's giving me here. Now this is the balanced version. Um, not too keen on this. You got another one photographic, new, no, natural, no. Uh, I, yeah, the default is much nicer. Now you got all these settings on the side there, the strength. So the strength is just uh, more about lighting the scene within. Uh, your color saturation, don't need to do anything there now. Tone, you can adjust it and see. Can you see how the light works? So I like something like that really. Um, detail contrast, I won't bother. Lighting adjustments, you can just alter the light. Do you see how it's working here? Um, so I want, I want a fairly I think something like this would be okay so yeah I'll put the temperature just a bit on this and then apply it so that's just going to apply all the uh, adjustments you've just done to that image and then uh, it brings you with this one so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to save that image as a TIFF uh, file and save. So there is the HDR image I'm going to work on, um, which I like um, because it's nice and balanced. So while that's saving, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open it up in um, Lightroom. So yeah, I think I like working with Photomatics just because it's um, it's pretty clean uh, and it's better than some of the others I've seen in the past which have not been very good. Uh, I don't know what Lightroom HDR is like on the new versions, I have no idea, I've not really used them but I'm happy using that one anyway. Cravenant. 
So I've opened Lightroom. Um, I'm just going to import that HDR image into Lightroom. Where are we? I don't need them. And let's bring it in. Right, the first thing I want to do is hit develop in Lightroom. Um, I'm going to change the, um, the angle on that, make it a bit straight there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, right, I'm going to bring down the highlights a bit more to about there. Uh, I think the exposure is right. Um, I'm going to give it some detail here. And then uh, mask it just to get what I want. Like such. Right. Um, lens corrections. I always do these. Um, enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration, constrain the crop, which I just changed the horizon line with. I'm happy with that. Now, um, color. Let's go and play with the colors here. I'm going to adjust the greens there. Um, see what the yellows do. What's the orange doing to it? Um, I think that's fine there. I think the colouring's there. It's pretty fine. Um, I'm going to light this area up, I think. So I'm going to go to the... Um, brush here and just gonna add a bit more exposure on here so to bring that color out a bit I'm just gonna give it a bit more temperature a um, bit more saturation on there and a bit more contrast like so um, yeah, now this tree's dark. I'm also going to try and work on that. Just uh, get a bit of detail in it. Not too much, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bring a bit of the exposure up on this. Something like that. Just like that, where you can see uh, bit more in it um, I think I'd like the foreground here with the um, stones here a bit darker because um, it balances too much with the uh, lake and uh, I think just by bringing this down a bit um, it'd be a lot better That works better to me. A bit more temperature on it. Uh, a bit more clarity on there. Done. So, um, yeah, I think that image looks pretty good to me. So, uh, I'm just going to put um, a Viet a Viet on it, just slightly. Uh, and the idea of that is just that it pulls your eye to the center of the frame, um, like so. And uh, yeah, I'd be happy with that. Um, so there you go. So that's my workflow really of uh, how I put my images together. Um, from that now I'd probably go to Photoshop and then uh, just give it a bit more sharpening on it. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog on uh, my workflow. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and bye.